So in this video, I will give you some tips in order to improve at PvP and I asked some 30 million players on what tips can they give if they were about to start bounty hunting, okay? So no bullshit. Let's go! Okay, so first of all, it's having the right settings. Right settings, right sensitivity, right graphics quality. Right sensitivity equals better aim. Okay, if you have the right sensitivity, you will have better aim and more chances of winning. Okay, so graphics quality. If you have trouble with FPS, you're getting low FPS, just lower your graphics quality. It will make your PC much smoother. And you can see your FPS by pressing Shift plus F5. Okay, so I'm getting 165. I tapped it. And once you've done that, let's go deeper. Let's go. So now we're done with the settings, sensitivity, graphics quality, and now we're moving on to the stats. Okay, so here's are my stats right now. I recommend you to max out your stats in melee, defense, sword, or gun, or block throws. What I mean by that is if you want to use sword when bounty hunting, max out your sword stats. And if you want to use gun, max out your gun. And if you want to use block fruit in bounty hunting, you max out your block fruits. That is quite obvious, yeah? So I recommend you to use block fruit stats when you are just a beginner or using doe or leopard. And if you're really an advanced player, you might want to use sword or gun because it only has two skills, okay? So unlike block fruits, it has five skills, okay? So when using gun or sword, you can kill a player with at least five skills, yeah. we're done with the stats okay so we're moving on to the accessories and as you can see right now i use um pilot helmet because it gives more speed but you can choose anything you want but it has their own pros and cons like for sewing glasses you have eight percent more damage on any attack and see that so i recommend you to just use this accessory because it gives you more more speed just look at this man 130 percent faster run speed bro that's so cool wait let me un unclip this Use this pilot element to be more fast and you can dodge combos with this and you can study more about accessories by going into blocks fruits fandom tab and search for accessories and there you go okay so now we're done with the accessories you pick the right accessory you have the right stats you have the right settings right graphics quality and now we're moving on races okay races there are currently six races in blocks fruits shark human angel mink cyborg ghoul but you can only choose one yeah that's obvious. They have their own pros and cons. Okay, so pause the video real quick. And as you can see, all races in Blocks Rules have their own strengths, like Mink for extra speed, Shark for a lot of defense, Angel for healing, Fireball for defense and can counter, Gold for cooldown, and Human for damage. And after you pick the right race for you, don't forget to upgrade your race to race V4 because it's so OP in bounty hunting, but it is so unfair in real 1v1s though, they say. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is builds. No hand cam for now, it's because I'm just explaining how can you choose a good build, okay? So, in choosing the right build, you must take a look at the stats first, okay? So, currently, I'm using storage stats, so, so generally speaking, if you have blocks fruit stats, you obviously have to have some legendary fruits like Venom, Shadow, Doe, the fruits that deal high damage, and your sword should be a stun or a mobility sword, okay? So, like, old because you can stun, high damage stuns. G day I don't know what the pronunciation is, but I think this G G day because this sword has the mobility to dash. Yeah, this. Okay, so and soul kid. This one has a stun skill. You can stun your enemy by this skill. Okay, so like that and Yama. This one's a good sword for foot mains because you can easily combo with electric law and Yama. So I have electric law. My combo starter is C. So take a look. Okay, so I combo start with electric law C and I finish my combo with spamming skills in leopard. But I'm using this one. So let's look at this. You just have to spam your skills after you landed your electric claw C and Yama X. Okay, so like this. It's like that. So that's why Yama is a good sword when you're using electric claw. There are so many combos out there using Yama and electric claw. And I, I saw many Bloxers build that uses um, CDK, CDK and Soul Guitar. Yep, this OP. Okay, so that should be the build if you are using um, Bloxers for sword and gun mains. This is basically easy. If you're using sword, your fruit should be um, stun fruit like Ice, Sand, Dark, Portal, and Rumble. Oh, there's some goated fruits for sword users. Yeah, because look at this. See? 
X move, V moves are a stun, and you have three dashes. Yeah, imagine you're using Mink, you have a pilot helmet, and you have Rumble, you have three dashes, bro. You cannot get attacked easily. Portal Rumble, and then Dark, great fruit for swords. Okay, so with gun, it's basically the same. You're using on um, stun, stun fruit, combo starter fruits, but your sword should be um a stun sword. Yeah, gun builds are commonly superhuman, soul cane, and acidum rifle. Yeah. Your sword should be um, stunned, like pole. Pole and sword can are the most commonly fruits when using gun. All pole skills have stuns, long duration stuns. So a quick recap about some builds. Okay, so when using fruits, you have to have um, high damage fruits, like leopard, like legendary fruits, yeah. And you have a stun sword, stun, stun gun, or combo extender, should I say. Okay, so when using sword, your fruits must be um, stun, like portal, rumble, dark, ice, yeah. And you can find some good builds by just searching it on YouTube. You search some bounty hunting one-shot combo, uh, I guess. Some of my old videos, I got some good builds before. And that's it. Alright, for the next tip, you know that we have our mouse cam right here. So you know what it means. Alright, so now we're gonna talk about aim. So this is just a quick tip because aiming is just like having the right sensitivity and getting used to it. So I told you already about the sensitivity and, and I guess you have the right sensitivity right now. You're comfortable with it. So let's go with aiming. Check it out guys. Like that. So you don't need to aim directly at the player. You just have to aim straight. It doesn't matter where it is, just aim straight. That's, that's the tip that I can give you with aiming. So you don't need to have to practice aiming like, like this and like that. If you want to aim like that, you you need to use um, Acidum Rifle, like the best gun players in the game. Other skills needs to be aimed directly at the player, okay? Like like the Electric Law C. Like, I gotta do that. So I don't wanna do that, okay? You need to aim directly at the player, yeah. If you're a gun player who's want to improve their aim, like the best skilled players at the game that uses superhuman, soul cane, acid rifle, if you wanna train your aim like directly, you wanna do that with NPCs. You wanna do flicks too. Take your time. Like that. And I have another game to recommend you guys to improve your aim. So this is the game I wanna recommend you guys because it's gonna train your aim. I swear. You should try this one. These sporting players are working hard just to get better aim. So be like them guys. There's so many game modes right here. Like this. You want to change your crosshair? Just press X. It. Yeah, this is the crosshair for Acidum Rifle. And there's bot aiming. Play. Like this. You're holding your right click. Okay, so that's it for aiming guys. Now we're gonna talk about combos. This is what you guys are waiting for, okay? Combos. Okay, so you all have been waiting for this, man. So now I'm gonna teach you about combos. All you need to know about combos. How do you start the combo? How do you extend the combo? And how will you finish the combo, okay? So sit side, open your notebooks, and let's go. Before doing some combos, when you're still a beginner, you don't wanna start spamming your skills like this, like that. Like, bro, imagine grinding for skills just to spam it, man. You need to use it in the right way, yeah? So first things first, your keyboard. It's your choice if you wanna play like horizontally, but I wanna play like 45 degrees because I can I can, I can reach these numbers easily because you wanna switch items fast when you're doing a combo. If you're doing combo, you don't wanna just press it once. You need to spam it like this, okay? Like that. And you need to practice switching items fast. Like that you need to have um you need to get used to your keyboard and the numbers yeah so right now we're gonna talk about how bounty hunters start and end their combos yeah there's a thing that i call um combo starter which is a skill that has a can break and a stun like crumble there's some common combo starters like ice v yeah it's a very common combo starter you can use it on any combos many many combos because it has long duration stun and it does can break your combo start with this I know you you're gonna you're gonna start doing combos yeah like this take your time learning some combos in every melee and every sword and gun you need to learn separately before before you wanna do watch at combos you need to learn about simple combos like basic superhuman combo like this because in watch combo you're using all all of them in one attack so take your time learning combos one by one separately <laughs> let me teach you how can you extend your combos this one important thing let me choose a random build this random any any bad swords uh, you can combo at everything this is my combo starter as you all know portal z can stun the enemy and after i stun the enemy i extend my combo with z because this skill is a stun too 
and these two skills to our stun and i can use my melee with yeah this stun this and this don't use skill that cannot stun the enemy when when you're doing combo because they can escape for real it's obvious like when you do that and you do this bro they can escape obviously but if you do this just watch this combo yeah they can escape Yeah, like that. Simple. You wanna end your combos with uh, with skills that don't have stuns, like that step X and like this. There's so many combo opportunities. Wait, let me let me do that again. See that? Can can I get a like for that? I gained your trust. Okay, so make sure to subscribe. Right now, I will give you some extra tips that can help you in the long run. So, experience, okay? The more experience you got, the more stronger you will be. Okay, so take your time. Learn every day. Learn some new skills every day. Do bounty hunting every day. Experience matters, okay? So, you can learn anything by experience. I just learned all of this from experience, okay? But you still need to watch and learn some new things, like some new combos. Okay, so lastly, have fun with the game, don't rush it, enjoy the process, and, and I hope that you have a good bounty hunting journey, okay? So peace out, man.